Hello and welcome to the Economics Issues course, Econ 203. In this video, I will give you an introduction to the course and we'll talk about what the assignments are and how to get started. Let's go ahead and begin with the syllabus. You'll see on the website here, in the upper left-hand corner, there's a Start Here page. This is probably where you're getting this video. On the Start Here page, there's also a welcome announcement. I encourage you to read this welcome announcement. So it's going to help you understand how the course is laid out, and it's going also going to give you links to the syllabus and the course schedule. Links to the syllabus and the course schedule are also found on the upper left side. There's a link for the syllabus and the schedule. If you click on this link for the syllabus, it's going to come up like a Word document that's out in the cloud. You can read through that. I encourage you to do that. There is going to be a quiz uh, early on in the class that will provide some extra credit for you where you may need to know some things from the syllabus and from the welcome announcement to, to get some extra points on the quiz. So this course is all about economic issues, right? So we're going to mix microeconomics and macroeconomics issues in this course. We're going to start out with microeconomics for the first half of the course, then we're going to have a midterm test, and then we're going to do some macroeconomic issues at the, uh, the last half of the course, and then we're going to have the final exam. We're going to use two texts for this as well. So the, the same free textbooks or open uh, educational resource textbooks that we use for microeconomics and macroeconomics we're going to be covering the back chapters of those uh, textbooks. We're going to cover some theory a little bit, uh, but really our main focus here is going to be on the issues and talking about what the issues are and helping you understand maybe all of the different components of each issue and give you some tools to help you maybe understand the different sides of the issues. The textbooks here are on the syllabus, they're also on the, the welcome a start here page on Blackboard. There's links on both places where you can click on the link and go to the textbook website. So the textbook is free. You can use it either online for free or you can download a PDF for free. There is also um, an iBooks uh, version that you can buy for iOS Apple devices. Uh, there's also a, an audio version that's available and you can search uh, a lot of these open resource Textbooks have a lot of options out there for you. So if you need the, the audio version for disability services, you can contact disability services here at the college and they can help you get you set up with that version as well. So the main idea of this class, whether you're taking it live or online, so we're gonna be doing them both simultaneously here. Let's talk about the assignment setup. So right here we see the assignment breakdown for points. So there's gonna be a thousand points for the class which makes it easy to calculate, right? How much each assignment or exam is worth, right, of your of your total grade. There's going to be two exams, like I said, each worth 200 points. So 40% of your grade is the exams. There's going to be an economics issues blog. Uh, so we're going to do current events related to economics is issues that we're talking about in class, and that's going to be one of the assignments. You're going to submit that through Blackboard. There's also a CYOA term project. CYOA is an acronym. It stands for Choose Your Own Adventure, okay, or Create Your Own Adventure in this case because, because you're actually going to create an interactive tool that will help people walk through one of the issues, the choices related to one of the economic issues we're going to cover in class. The issue is going to be one of your choosing. You're going to use Google Forms uh, to do that project and you're going to submit it by submitting a link to your form so that I can walk through your form and and see how your uh, economic issue is laid out in that interactive form. So there is going to be there is a to do video or a how to video I should say uh, on the uh, term project area in Blackboard. So you can go there, watch the how to video, and uh, there's other how to videos on the create your own adventure or choose your own adventure project with Google Forms that are out there on on uh, YouTube, for example, on the internet, and you can look at those as well if you need some ideas. So we'll walk you through that as you go through class. I'll give you some more updates, and feel free to contact me anytime that you uh, would like if you have questions about that project. And finally, the, the last uh, area for points are going to be chapter discussions. So there's going to be discussions. They're going to be through 
Blackboard for both the live and the online classes. So you go there, read the question, and give your response. So it's really important as you do those discussions to give enough, give enough response to elicit a good grade from me, right? So if you only give a really short response and don't actually answer the why or the how or whatever the follow-up side of it, you're gonna get reduced points. Also, very important for the discussions, make sure that you respond to one of your classmates uh, posting to the discussion board. You need to respond in order to even get graded. So it's not gonna come up, come up in the grading uh, queue for me to grade until you have written your own discussion post to that answer, right? Or to that question, answer the question and discuss. And then you're going to, the second thing of that is to uh, respond to one of your classmates posts and then it'll come up in the grading queue and I can give you a grade for it. Last of all, we're gonna have some pop quizzes for both live and online students. The pop quizzes are gonna come up every so often and you're gonna have opportunity to get some extra credit for those quizzes. If you're following along with the coursework, right, and you're looking at the uh, chapter videos that I put out there, if you're coming to class and, and walking through the activities with us, uh, in the case of live students, online students, if you're watching the videos and you're doing your reading, uh, you should be able to answer the questions no problem and get some extra credit. If you're not keeping up with the class, you're you're probably going to miss out on some of those points for sure. Okay, so that's really the the idea of the class. Last is up at the top of the syllabus, right? That's my contact information. Feel free to contact me anytime that you need to. Anytime that you uh, have questions, anytime that you need to just touch base with me to tell me that there's something go on in, going on in your life. If you're missing some assignments. Uh, I'm willing to accept late work only if you have an issue in your life beyond your control that's causing you to miss some work. Contact me about those things, right? So you don't have to get into details necessarily about your issue, but I need to make sure that you're taken care of and that uh, you're, and so we can discuss the class so you can either make those things up at a later date or we can get you the help you need. Contact me via phone. It's on here, 541-881-5897. Email me at dbell at tvcc.cc or come and visit me on uh, campus. And I'm in Barber Hall, room 116D, which is in between the Math Lab and the Bistro if you uh, know Barber Hall. Also, for online students, I'm available to do online tutoring with you if you need to let me know we can schedule an appointment we can go online and we can do some virtual tutoring online if you have an issue that you're not understanding we can definitely do that hopefully this video helped out uh, well let's have a good term and have a good day bye